Hi Gemini, welcome in. I hope you guys are doing really well. This is the Connected Conduit. This will be a collective, or sorry, not a collective. This will be a timeless message for you, Gemini. Okay, so just before I hopped on here, I had a vision and I heard some things for you. So what I saw was, I saw you, okay? And then all of a sudden you took a big jump backwards and then something fell from out of the sky and landed in front of you and burst into a million pieces. And the energy that I got from that was that you decided to remove yourself from a situation just in time to see it fall to pieces or just in time to escape or avoid disaster. What I'm hearing is that you dodged a bullet, you narrowly escaped, okay? And now you see clearly and you've got your sights set higher. You have like new expectations, I guess, or a new bar that, I don't know, people need to reach, okay, in order to be in your life. You're setting the bar higher. You're setting your sights higher when it comes to relationships. And what I'm hearing, it was a whole lot of D words, okay? For the person you were dealing with, I heard demeaning, demand, demanding, despicable, distant, distracted, overly disciplined, dreadful, and dreary. And then I heard done. <laughs> okay. So that's a lot of alliteration for you. <laughs> oh, Gemini. I'm sorry if you were dealing with somebody like that. Let's pull some energy. Let's see what messages want to come out for you regarding this situation. Emotional withdrawal, the Eight of Cups. You decided to remove yourself from a situation just in time. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups in the original deck shows somebody walking away from Eight of Cups towards their Ten of Cups. It shows someone choosing to distance themselves from a situation that was not fulfilling them. Okay? I'm hearing like, I just want to be left alone. I just need some time to myself. I just want peace. I want some quiet. Seven, crown chakra. Wow. This is why you're being called to withdraw. It's because you're having like a spiritual awakening, a spiritual upgrade. You're receiving messages from the divine, from your spirit guides, and you're listening to them. You're following your intuition. Oh my gosh, it's the universe. The universe is calling. Ring-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, Gemini. Ring-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, Gemini. Let's get you out of this situation, shall we? Okay, universe. I was kind of done with this person anyways. Okay, this the universe, the divine, they totally got you out of this situation. You received some sort of information or an inkling or an, a niggle or, you know, just some sort of gut feeling that told you that you needed to go and you listened to it and it very well was your saving grace. It could have been your saving grace here, Gemini. I mean, I don't know what the disaster was. It could have just been like a big fight, you know, between you and someone else could have broken out or something else. I, I don't, I don't really know, but I feel like you dodged a bullet here by deciding to walk away, distance yourself, detach, detach from someone or a situation, right? That Someone who was demeaning, demanding, despicable, distant, distracted, overly disciplined, dreadful, and dreary. We have a Seven of Cups coming out. It's like someone who maybe had you up in your head a lot. Somebody who had you in, a, I don't know, like a fog kind of... Um, they appeared one way when underneath they weren't. It was an illusion. They were really good at wearing a mask, potentially. I'm getting a song. Um, I think it's Shania Twain. Okay, okay. Oh, you gone and done it. Gone and done it. Guess I fell in love. 
gone and done it. It must have been the way you walked, the way you walked. Oh, you're sweet, so we talk. Okay. And love gets me every time my heart takes my mind. And you gosh darn gone in the lit. I don't know why I'm getting that song. Maybe you're a Shania Twain fan. But it's like, you gosh darn gone and done it. You fell in love, but it was with like the wrong person. You gosh darn gone and done it again, Gemini. <laughs> oh, Jim. I don't mean to laugh. Um, I'm not laughing at your pain. I'm just laughing at the Shania Twain song. So the five of wands, this is all about, like I said, fighting, conflict, drama, disagreements, arguments, someone who was dreadful, demanding, right? You're like, leave me alone. I'm going to turn my back. Look at this guy sitting on the beach. Leave me alone. I don't want this drama. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to do this. This is exhausting. I don't even have it in me anymore. I don't even know what we're fighting for anymore. I'm out of here. I got to go. I just want to be at peace. Leave me alone. That's what I'm getting, Jem. And that's what's come out. Yeah, I'm tired of being in this situation. Eight of Swords. Tired of it. The magician, look at this, underneath the crown chakra. Oh, this is the divine. This is the divine, as above, so below. This is the divine trying to teach you, um, trying to make you remember that you are a divine, sovereign being, that you are love and you are loved. The divine is trying to wake you up, right? You're having an ascension, a, a spiritual ascension, and things are shifting and changing around you. And the people that you are associated with, they look differently to you. You see them in a different light than you did before. All of a sudden, the fog parted or the fog lifted and the, and the clouds parted. And you could see this person for who they really were. And it was ugly. And it's also very scary when this starts to happen because you're like, why didn't I see this before? And what's going on? Why do I no longer feel the same way about this person? Why do, why do I feel icky when I'm around them when I used to be in love with this person? You know, it's, it's like that. You're being called to a higher timeline. You're being called to close this cycle out and rise to the next chapter of your life. You, you're going through some major lessons right now, Gemini, that are very difficult to learn, but they're for your greatest and highest good, and they will make you stronger. The universe wants you to know that you are a powerful being. All the answers that you seek, everything you're looking for is already within you. You are the key. You are the answer. You're going to find out so many wonderful things along this journey, Gemini, I feel like telling you like your journey has just begun. And don't worry, I feel like this is kind of the worst part. The worst is the beginning when you first start realizing that your vibration is rising. And the people you used to jive with, you don't you don't click with those people anymore. There's the world card on the bottom, the world twice. Lessons, life lessons, going to the school of hard knocks, six of, it's six of swords, moving to a place of peace, moving forward and not looking back. There's no going back. There's only going forward. And even though it's, it's, you're tired, you're depleted, you're drained, you're moving towards choppy waters, towards smoother, calmer waters. You will have peace, calm, and clarity. You may actually be moving or traveling over water. The King of Swords. Look at this. I knew the King or Queen of Swords was going to come out because I was getting um, this cold, hard energy coming from your person. 
demeaning. Okay, this is in reverse. Okay, this is the king of swords in reverse. Demeaning, demanding, despicable, distant, cold, distracted, overly disciplined, overly focused on their career, overly focused on being the, the cutest couple or the best couple or having whatever, the best house and the best things. And I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I don't know. Maybe your person <laughs> was really into, into things. I'm sorry, maybe they were really snobby right? Really into material, how things looked, how things appeared on the surface, right? But this person didn't go deep. There was no depth to this person. They were dreadful. They were dreary. They were probably manipulative and just cared about themselves, right? Like selfish. My way or the highway, right? My way or the highway and I don't care about you. That's kind of the energy I'm getting. Oh, Gemini. So you're done. You're, you have removed yourself from this drama. You're going to be learning, growing, expanding. I'm hearing take pride in the steps you've already taken. It has taken great courage on your behalf, Gemini, to begin this process. This journey is not for the faint of heart. You are doing the right thing. You are doing the right thing because you are listening to your intuition. You are answering the call of your soul. This is going to lead you towards peace, prosperity, and abundance, and there's nothing to fear. You are leaving the worst behind you and moving towards calm and peace. Be at peace now, even, as you move forward. You can relax and feel safe, Gemini. I almost feel for some of you watching, like this person was sent to you to help you unlock your throat chakra to help you unblock your throat chakra, to help you speak up for yourself, defend yourself, put boundaries in place, to tell people off if you need to, to tell people where to go if you need to, right? They pushed you. They pushed your buttons one too many times. I'm, I'm picking up on a really sweet, patient, kind Gemini whose buttons were pushed one too many times. And you just were like, done, done. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Whoop. The star and the nine of pentacles fell out. Look at you. You're single, independent, focusing on yourself, your abundance, your wealth, and your healing. You're focused on your healing, Gemini. That's beautiful. You may find further on down the road, if you don't already know this, that you become some sort of a healer in whatever way that looks. It can be different for everybody. But with the star card coming out, it's giving me very strong vibes of you being a healer. If that's not the case, you're just working on your own personal healing. And by healing yourself, you are, in fact, healing others. By raising your vibration, you help the planet. You help humanity. Some of you are going traveling to a place that is very special to you. Somewhere where you can be alone. I don't know if this is like an old family home, a cottage. I'm, I'm seeing Italy or something like that. The Mediterranean. Somewhere where it's, it's just very peaceful. It's like your favorite space to go. And I see you going there. Whether you have to... Hop on an airplane or not, I don't know, but it's your sanctuary. It's your oasis. It's your home away from home, if that makes sense. Look, there's grapes here. Yeah, for some of you, this is like Italy or something. Yeah. In the Nine of Pentacles, there's grapes. Of course, Italy is very famous for their grapes and their wine, as we all know. The Tower... Here it is. Here's that disaster. You narrowly escaped a disaster. You dodged a bullet and now you're setting your sights higher, right? The star. 
You're setting your sights higher. You're having hope and faith. An aha moment, Ace of Swords. The truth came to you. You removed yourself and you avoided a tower moment in your life. Whew, close call, Gemini. Any other messages that want to come through? You're going to be just fine. I really want you to know that. See, the Six of Swords came out. Gemini, if you are in um, a difficult space right now where you feel like everything's chaotic, you will be moving towards peace. You will have peace, calm. It's yours. You can even have it right now in the midst of chaos. If you find a quiet space, go within, meditate, relax, rest, and turn it back to love. Forgive yourself. Show yourself kindness, compassion, and love. And just know you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing here. Yeah. I see you just really focusing on yourself, your own abundance and your own happiness and doing things that make you feel happy. I'm hearing you're doing things that make you feel young again, young at heart. You're, you're embracing this playful energy. Because wherever you were before was so controlling and, and disciplined. I'm almost feeling like you were with somebody who was like, we're going to wake up at five in the morning and we're going to have a cup of coffee. Or actually, you weren't allowed to have coffee because caffeine's bad for you. You're going to have green matcha tea with nothing in it, even though it tastes like dirt. You're going to eat that. And then we're going to have our brisk walk in the morning. And then we're going to come home and we're going to have our shake, our vegan shake. I'm sorry, no offense to vegans. I'm just really trying to like pump this person up to be like super specific. Okay. And, uh, and then after that, we're going to go and work our butts off for 10 hours. And then you're going to come home. You're going to cook me a meal and we're going to go to the gym. And then when we're at the gym, you're going to hold my purse. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do those people exist? Maybe, maybe not. What are you doing? Hurry up. What's taking you so long? Have you gotten the oil changed in the car? Well, why not? Hurry up. Do these things. When you're done, there's another list over there you can do. I don't know. <laughs> Am I nailing it, Gemini? Am I getting your person? So anyways, there's your clarity, breakthrough, truth. This is, for me, the clouds lifting the fog. Or the fog lifting the clouds parting. And you seeing the truth of a person, okay? Okay, I keep repeating myself. So we're going to pull some affirmations. Just know everything's going to be okay. You're moving towards peace. Better times ahead. You can relax. You can relax. Um, this person is not going to affect you. They don't have control over you anymore because you see the truth, right? As soon as you see the truth, people can't control you. As soon as you become aware... You take your power back. As soon as you see something clearly, you can take your power back. And that's what you've done. And now this person is powerless. And you're moving away. Yes, you are correct. See, you made the right choice. Gemini, you made the right choice. It's a 38. You could be seeing threes, eights, or 38. Yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. I repeat, you have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. <gasps> I mean, you can't make it up. That was the whole message. You listen to the divine and you're moving towards peace. And you narrowly missed a disaster. Good for you. Good for you, Gemini. Peace is yours. Healing is yours. Prosperity is yours. Life is getting better. Okay? Believe me when I say things will get better. Okay? I'm sending you all the good vibes. If this resonated with you, if you found it helpful, please like, share, subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you. And I'll see you in the next one.